Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're having a blessed day today. Now, this is part two of my ARC mega base, I like to call the village. Last time, I only got half of the foundation done. I went ahead and finished the foundation off camera as to not bore you guys and girls. But I'm going to show you real quick what I did off camera and show you some items that I added that are going to be essential to the base. Now, first off, we have these right here. These are called Gaia's Storage. You can find the mod in the mod list. These things are beautiful, let me tell you. Now, what you can do with these is you set them up and you drop items anywhere, and they automatically go to the designated storage box, as you can see with these arrows. The cool thing about these is, they have a huge vicinity. I'm going to show you right here. You see this barrier? See this blue? This is all the vicinity. If you drop your items in this area, they will automatically go to the designated storage box. It's quite beautiful and easy for building a base. Now, this right here is my Prismenium Maywing. This is my prized dino because I've never seen another Prismenium dino. I don't even know what it is. I've looked it up on Reddit, on Google, everywhere, and nobody has any information on it. It's amazing, but I need to know what it is. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments. Now, what we have here is we're going to do two big things here. We're going to build this whole front gate area right here. And the way I have planned to set it up is like a sally port. Now, if you guys don't know what a sally port is, when you get arrested and you get taken in the cop car, they take you to the jail, but they put you in this like garage thing where it has two doors on it so you can't escape. It is the front and back garage doors. They drive the car in, they bring you out, they book you in, and then they drive the car out once you're out and done. That's what my plans are for this thing. Now, for the pin right here, the taming pin, there's going to be some rather large dinos in there. So we're going to need tall walls and easy access to it without opening the main gate. And I'm going to build those today. As you can see, this thing is actually quite deep. So it can use large dinos as well. Now I did do some adjustments at the back. Because there is rough terrain, I cannot build foundations. So I had to build ceilings and I extended the whole thing out just a little bit. And I have some big plans for this area. You see, right here underneath, you can see I cannot really build foundations. So I'm thinking about making this into some kind of basement storage area that's hidden from the rest of the area. You just can't see it. You won't be able to see it. I'm going to have hidden items down in there and have a secret entrance to it. It's going to be pretty dope. And out here, you can see we got all this water, deep water, as a matter of fact. And I plan to build some kind of staircase down to a docking area where I have a closed off oasis type of area where I can keep all, keep all my sea creatures and such. It's going to be quite beautiful. So you're going to stay tuned to see all that. So what we need to do today is go ahead and start building on our front gate and get this sally port finished up. So stay tuned. Let's get into the montage. Now that we have the front gate done and the entrance and the wall, let's look at it. Whoa, boy, that looks intimidating, don't it? Something you don't want to mess with if I do say so myself. Now we need to start working on this here taming pen. I plan on putting big walls up to tame big dinos. There's a lot of work, so let's get to it. Thank you. 
Now I'm pretty much done with this here taming pen. I put secret doors on the side so I can easily get in it without letting the dinos out. I got the big gate so that they can come in and out. It's pretty big, big enough for anything I really want to tame. But next we need to work on this front salad port looking gate. I need walls and I need a gate at the front so that I can keep everything in. Let's get to it. Alright, so we finally got the gate done. This is the nice little entrance gate area. You're going to be able to come in one way, get off your dinos and go in or take whatever you want inside the base. It's a nice setup and it's what I really wanted. And now as far as the taming pen, that is pretty nice looking as well. I got the big walls, I got the, the door and it's going to work perfect for anything I want to trap in here, tame and then bring into the base. And it's got its own separate entrance to just make it all easier. Now, if you look around, you'll notice there are tons of little grass patchy areas. Now, I have plans for them too. You see, I couldn't build on them because of the way the land was. So, I'm going to turn each of these grassy areas into miniature gardens with all my crops and my, my seeds and everything I may need to plant right so it's going to look beautiful inside the village now if you guys have any suggestions of things you want to see or I should add to the base you should let me know and if you enjoyed the video like subscribe and have a blessed day I'll catch you next time okay. let me say this one time one time you make me feel alright so nice I know you wanna do one Say less You can stay the night You don't gotta go We could take this slowly No need to be